I'm trying this new thing where I drink eight glasses of water a day. This is number one. <laughs> I have no idea why this is so hard. It's literally one glass of water every hour. Like what is so hard about that? But I just can't get myself to do it. Also, this comment made me chuckle. Listen to me. We never had water pre-flooding. We never had water during the flooding. We don't have water post-flooding. Our lack of water does not depend on flooding or any natural disaster. The only disaster it depends on is our municipality. <laughs> back, back when I had TikTok, I was watching some TikToks. People in Dolphin complaining about no water and I felt very sorry for them. But at the same time, I was, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to every South Coaster's life, whether there's flooding or no flooding. <laughs> With us, it's every other day. It's just guaranteed there's no water. In fact, just this morning, while I was on my morning walk, I took some footage of a little old man uh, stocking up on some water from the municipal tap. Because, yeah, people are still lining up to get water. It's got nothing to do with the floods. It's just this municipality. But let me know if you're in Durban. Have you guys got your water back? Let me know. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Hello. I have some things to do, which is why my face is painted. Before I go, I wanted to give you um, an update on the toothbrush story because I, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages about the toothbrush story. I did not expect this level of investment about this toothbrush story. But thank you for being so concerned about my mother's toothbrush. I, well, we do appreciate it. So first things first, when I saw that I was getting so many questions about the toothbrush, I went back to watch that bit and I realized I didn't actually tell the story very well. I was just like in the moment. So to answer your questions, it was an electric toothbrush. Trust me, we would not be uh, talking about this for more than a minute if it was a manual, a manual toothbrush, an old school toothbrush, whatever you call those old toothbrushes. And you know, electric toothbrushes, they're a bit more expensive than manual toothbrushes. Secondly, I know you guys think I'm crazy for thinking those delivery guys took it. Look, I'm not saying that they definitely 100% took it, but all I'm saying it is highly coincidental emphasis on dental that toothbrush went missing straight after those delivery guys came to the house that's all i'm saying my mother used that toothbrush as normal at the start of that day it was in her room oh that's the other thing it wasn't in the bathroom that toothbrush sits in her room charging the delivery guys had to had to do something in my mother's room that's where the toothbrush was it's just too weird how it went straight after the delivery guys came along you know and you know the other thing is the other thing is they came with a tooth box i mean a toolbox <laughs> so for all we know he quickly just dropped the tooth Brush into his toolbox because here's the thing right that toothbrush it does not leave that room it only leaves the room when my mother goes to brush her teeth and then it goes back onto its charger in her room so it can only it can only have been in that room there's no other place it could be in the thing about this house is it's big but it's not that big so trust me when I say that we searched every nook and cranny and every crook and nanny well not every crook we didn't search those two guys at the end of the day i don't know if those guys stole it but what i do know is that toothbrush is no longer in this house and it's just too weird how things happened like it was there it was there that whole toothbrush's life it was there in that room and then after those guys came 
it was not there anymore. It's just too weird. Anyway, wherever that toothbrush is now, I, I hope it's enjoying its new life in Joburg. I mean, I don't know if it's in Joburg, but I do know it's in Joburg. I'm so upset and it's not even my toothbrush that was stolen. Is that a good sign? Yay! <laughs> Yay! Hooray! We have lights again! Wow! Lights! A few moments later. Dad doesn't even know it's load shedding. That's how it's going to look in his coffin. So, it's 8 o'clock. It's a load shedding. But here's why they're all fuming. Because, when was it? Sunday night. Mm. Last night? No. Yesterday Sunday was Sunday. What? Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday. Of course. So, last night, we had this out of nowhere and it was for like five minutes we had this crazy windstorm out of nowhere and within the five minutes our lights were gone and of course by the time escom comes to fix everything oh my god but actually it was very surprising that they came today and did it before before nightfall <laughs> <laughs> okay. so we didn't have electricity since last night until about two PM. and then we were so happy to get our lights back and then we got news that load shedding was back like that's not fair so now we have to sit and look at each other for two hours ma what you doing what you reading what is that skin care i want to read on book on putin for what i want to get he's turning 70 end of this month oh he looks good for his age yeah i'm not fortunate some people are seeing suffering from cancer please he is cancer Tell one joke. I am not a jokey person. <laughs> Hello. I am very nervous. I have a very special video that I'm filming today, uh, but I have to go somewhere else to film. It's not happening here. I'm going for like the girl next door look. So I hope I pull that off. I'm not gonna put my lipstick on now because I have to wear my mask and no. So I decided I'll put my lipstick on at the last minute just before I start filming. But yeah, um, I hope this video goes well. I'm just nervous because I haven't done anything like this before. I haven't collaborated with someone like this before. So I'm nervous how that dynamic is going to work. But yeah. Wish me luck and I hope you're excited for this video and I hope you'll be kind to him because he is super, super shy, camera shy and I, I don't blame him. Yeah, so please be kind to him <laughs> and welcome him like he's one of our own. Okay, okay. This is what I look like if you're interested. Is it girl next door? I don't even know why I'm aiming for girl next door. I just want that look today. I'm hoping that the denim jacket pulls off that entire girl next door look. Otherwise, it's just a normal 
black outfit also it is so cold i think my fingers are like on the brink of getting frostbite oh god don't mind me i'm just gonna go into my youtube persona now <laughs> well how's it people no. i think Done, 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 done. Mm. This is such an interesting name. Are these people your friends' names? Yeah, that's Tom. Like Tom. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that name? Yeah. Yeah. We're done! Thank you so much! <laughs> so, tomorrow, I'm gonna spend tomorrow editing this video like crazy. Editing makes a very happy time. Okay. As long as you've got your content, if you're happy, then that's fine with me. Yeah, so you did such a good job. He's <laughs> good. You know what's the best part about making a YouTube video? I mean, I think I, I love the whole process. Uh, but the best part for me is the music finding the music to match the scene you probably don't even realize it but i put a lot of thought into the music um the soundtrack is the best part so i hope you guys when you watch my videos i hope you appreciate my soundtrack because a lot of thought goes into that music look at this can't be bothered to untangle that i cannot wait to spoil myself and get myself some airpods because I cannot deal with this hey uh, speaking of YouTube I just want to give a quick shout out to give me a hundred minutes while my internet loads Jada Moodley i found you eventually uh, i want to give you a quick shout out for your super thanks come jada mudley come come kissy for you <laughs> jada mudley it looks like i don't pln i'm guessing that's poland you're giving me polish money that's very kind of you thank you one cool thing about the super thanks is i get different like currencies so i'm actually learning because of these abbreviations i'm learning on the different countries currencies so anyway thank you uh jayla mudley for your super thanks i also want to thank all of you there were a bunch of you who um donated money during my during sunday's live thank you so much for all those donations uh don't forget if you super thanks me on this video you will get a shout out from moi in my next video update what update <laughs> how much was this uh it was 600 rand. 600 rand mm -hmm. it was definitely stolen because i looked at the bed again <laughs> you look under the bed again <laughs> yes Actually, this is the second thing I went in. No, you have to say that without making such a racket. <laughs> so say it again. When I adjust the, the bed, mm -hmm. then you know it, I can look into the empty space at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I can look again to see if I can find the toothbrush. <laughs> and it's not there. This because the, it's stolen. Because this is the third time I looked there and it wasn't there. <laughs> chicken yeah like a raptor
What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong, baby? You depressed? I'm worried about you. Hmm? Hmm? Are you so sad? We've all been there, don't worry. Hello, baby. With the shoes. Yeah. Oh God, there's a monkey in the house. <laughs> they won't know you're standing on this unit. You must show them. Oh, okay. There she's on the unit, hanging up from the bottom like a monkey. But only thing the monkey does a better job. Ma, I'm scared. Just give me the key. Yeah. yeah. Show me, show me. Do you have to put these things up? <laughs> Honestly. You see, the number of times I took it down, no, no, there was no problems. But one day in your 33 years or 40 years, I don't know, you complain. She, she wants everyone to see how much work this she does. The manual do. labor that I have to do. <laughs> Look at how scared she is. I, at my ripe old age, I can get up there. Hey. Come, 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 come. <laughs> I don't know why you're coming. Just jump off. <laughs> I'm scared. You have to go to the other end to get the kettle. What? Oh <laughs> my god. Basically, next to the owner of Gorimas. My arms are sore now. You're taking like forever. You must try it standing on the I did many times in my life. We've been here for 29 years. Yeah, she's coming down. No, oh, so Mom. scary. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Wow, it's beautiful. Right? I can't believe I live here. Yeah, it looks beautiful. way better on camera. Beautiful. Sure, but the oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, it looks like uh. Like California Florida. or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Florida, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Babo Saram Nida. Really, Babo Saram Nida. You know, when you push yourself to the point where you feel like throwing up. But other than that, I feel really good. I feel so much stronger. So before, when I just started walking, I used to lag behind my parents. I was the weak link. But now I am charging ahead and I feel good. My legs feel so much stronger. They don't feel like lead anymore. Remember how I was complaining before that my legs feel like lead? Not anymore. And I'm really enjoying walking morning biscuits you can't go wrong with morning biscuits you must get yourself some morning biscuits morning biscuits solve this car is very dusty whoa um excuse that we live on a farm like there's just dust 24 7. um but yeah morning biscuits they solve every problem in the world you know oh so i'm just waiting in the car because my parents decided to do some extra Case. and to be honest I, I've, uh, I've done enough so I'm just waiting for them okay this is so weird okay this is so weird but like there's a particular point on this route oh, next time I'll show you not that I can show you it's a smell <laughs> but there's a particular point on this route it is so weird at the that exact point and for exactly three seconds that smell is always there it's a smell that I associate it takes me, you know how when you smell something and it takes you to a point in the past? It is an exact smell from Reservoir Hills. This is so weird, I know. Reservoir Hills is a place in Durban. Um, and I basically spent my entire childhood there with my gran and my cousins. And it's that point, that just those three seconds in that road, it smells like Reservoir Hills. It is so weird. It takes me back to when I was five. And then after three seconds, it's gone. 
and then I'm like, I'm back in chips and it's weird. I don't know what that smell is, man, but it's weird. Anyway, forget it. Let me eat my morning biscuit. What's the time? It's nine o'clock, okay. So our neighbors just came in. They said that they're handing out um, biryani at 10 a.m. at the spot. I'm looking at the time now, it's nine o'clock. But I don't think we're gonna make it for the biryani because my parents will be here very soon. So we're gonna miss out on some biryani, unfortunately. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's our neighbors. What are bubble waffles? Check here. Check here. Gelato, bubble waffles, coffee, milkshakes. What's that? I want to try that, but um, I didn't carry money with me. And we only have some coins in the car. It's not gonna make it. <laughs> I was like, today I needed water now because I was feeling a bit nauseous but I don't even I think I've got 14 rand I don't even think that can buy me a, a bottle of water these days so and the thing is I went into the <laughs> so I went into the shop um, and they don't put the bloody prices on things so I was like I'm not gonna risk it I'm not gonna go to the toll and then be short of money and then look like a clown why didn't I carry money with me I'm an idiot that's why Baba Saram Amita didn't I tell you oh, but that bird is irritating hey What is that? What a pain in the butt. Oh, now the hardy does will start. While we are here, I want to do a quick PSA, a public service announcement, because I always get this comment about my nose. This, whether I meet subscribers in real life or whether you guys are DMing me, you guys are always asking me about this thing. Sam, I love your nose ring. That is not a nose ring. That is a beauty spot. I'm very proud of my nose beauty spot. So stop calling it a nose ring, okay? It's not a nose ring. I have nothing against nose rings, but I just don't think I can pull that off. Um, so that is a beauty spot. Also, I kind of really love my... Wait, let me show you. Hang on, without getting naked. There, this one. So this one, this one, and this one, you won't be able to see it now, but they're actually completely aligned. They look like three little planets aligned. I love them so much. <laughs> anyway, the point of the story was, that's not a nose ring, it's a beauty spot. What song are they playing? Hey, it's hot, man. I want a bubble waffle. I don't know what it is, but I want it. East Coast Radio. I was just enjoying my me time, man. Somebody's going. It's stretching. You wanna see? It's a bubble waffle. A bubble waffle. I'm off now to the hospital I'm okay it's fine don't worry about me I'm just getting my booster done I kind of like delayed the booster for a while because when was it Joburg yeah in February whoa that suddenly seems like five years ago um yeah so in February when I was in Joburg I got sick and I took some antibiotics, so I, I heard some stories, you know how you hear these stories floating around, like don't take the booster if you took antibiotics or whatever, so I wasn't taking any chances. Who knows what's true and what's not true, but anyway. And uh, I mean, it's been some time now, so I think it's safe to go get the booster. I don't even know, like, whether I should get the booster or not, but I'm just doing it, you know, just, just, you know. I don't want to, like, travel one day and then that country is like, did you take the 500 boosters? No? Well, then you can't come to our country, so 
I'm just getting it done. Don't come at me with your booster conspiracy theories, please. Because, uh, uh, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting it done. And if I die, then I die. Carpe diem and all of that, you know? Yeah, okay. You want to come with me to the hospital? Oh, okay, come then. And I just want to reiterate how grateful I am for masks. Don't have to wear makeup. <laughs> I love masks. Let's go. First or second booster? Pfizer or Johnson? Pfizer. Johnson? Pfizer. Pfizer. Um, but can we take the J and J? We don't have J and J. And it's not just here, it's uh, nationwide. I can phone and check if Clicks got for you if you want J and J. No, no, please. You see, the thing with, with, with J and J is I can open J and J. The problem is I must have five to open J and J. Yeah. I look tired. That morning walk. Makes me very sleepy. <laughs> it's meant to wake you up. <laughs> so we have to wait because there's only three of us and they can't open the vaccines until they have six people. So they're phoning someone to phone someone to phone someone to find out if they can get special permission to open those vaccines for us. And then they're gonna hope and pray that three people come soon to use the other three vaccines. Okay, just press on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. oh. Hello, <laughs> I'm back from my vaccine. I'm exhausted. So, my arm, oh, I'm gonna show you, wait, hang on. Let me just get naked, naked, naked. Oh, shit. oh, sorry. I get so annoyed with myself when I swear because I'm just giving myself more work in the editing process. Here we go, booster done. My arm is very sore, I won't lie. And I swear to goodness, if I get sick again because of this, I'm gonna smash a table. Because I remember after the second vaccine, yo, I got so sick. Fever, everything. So hopefully I'll be fine. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you my arm. And if you haven't gotten your booster, go get it done. But I don't care if you don't. I, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> remember how anal we used to be about COVID and now I'm just like, eh. Also, I was super chuffed because the people doing my vaccine, they thought I was born in 97 and I was like, no, I'm born in 89. <laughs> I was super chuffed about that. Just thought you should know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you made me look like a clown. Oh, okay. You want to look like a clown? Mali, my grey hairs. Oh yeah, I think he died. Oh. He's like an old, like he's got grey, full grey hair. Oh, it's you gonna be just like that soon. Guys, like, I'm done now. No. I'm done, I'm tired of this nonsense. Kim knows it the right way. Half, 10 minutes for you, 10 minutes for me. <laughs> Mom, I'm not gonna have brain cells left. You don't have any already, what are you talking about?